As a kid, I used to sit in front of this old globe. I would spin it, feeling small bumps and ridges of an unknown world slide past. I remember longing to experience what my fingertips so often traced, but that seemed impossible. So instead, I read books and watched movies and plastered my bedroom walls with words from other languages until one day, years, books, and a lot of notebook paper later, dreams became reality. From France to Germany to Italy, this is part of that dream. Elle avait souffert. Et... I'm Taylor. I'm Michael. Michael and what? And I am. Well, I majored in sports management. I'm a business marketing manager, and we are currently here in Paris, France. Our uh, first meal here. This is bottled water, believe it or not. It's not vodka. Um, no, I got a club. Club? Club Central Park. So it's just like avocado bacon. Um, yeah, it's good though. I got a bacon cheeseburger. Typical American. Very American. Typical American. My name is Alexander Franz. Sophia. Christian. Christian. And what are your guys' majors? I major in psychology. Me as well. I think he has studied, so I'm probably going to get a mathematics. My name is Elizabeth. My name is Rachel. My name is Rianne. And what are you guys' majors? I'm majoring in Integrated Language Arts, grade 7 through 12, with a minor in Philosophy. I'm majoring in Musical Theater, with a minor in Dance and Music. I'm majoring in Geology, with a minor in Philosophy. I'm Bethany. A quick editor's note. This is Sheep Cow. And my English education. Okay, so what are your guys' expectations for this trip? Mm. Honestly, new experiences, I don't, I don't have any expectations. It's kind of just don't like the flow. I don't have my money on food and I'm not accepting that already. Everything's going to food. None. Absolutely none. Um, I guess the season that I've always seen in my Books and learn about. Yeah. Right. Um, wait a minute. Probably everything and nothing at the same time. This time kind of out of the book. Yeah. Super. And what are your guys' expectations for the trip? Um, I'm just really looking forward to looking more like about the culture and getting some cultural enrichment um, and actually seeing the things we learned about in class. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All the art stuff. All of it. All the art I want. All of it. All the time. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to see how everything that we learned about the modern era ties into some of the architecture and the only that we see here and as far as, you know, other than that, like the culture and the people and whatnot. Yeah. That's really cool. And do we have any words from our amazing leaders? About our major? <laughs> about... Yeah, your, your major. major. Yeah, what's your major? My major is in helping students learn. <laughs> and achieve he had the full that ready potential. To Good answer. And discover who they really are. Good answer. You should be on a billboard. <laughs> <laughs> we have some, I have a story. I have a story about... Mrs. Merriweather, anything you want to say before we cut out? Um, I'm enjoying all of these students. They're wonderful. They're well informed. And, and they're not in eighth grade. Really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. My expectations for the trip are honestly like I don't really know what to expect. But, but we've been here for a little bit already and seeing the world that we've learned about in our history books and learned about and everything come to life around us has been so cool. So I am just really looking forward to seeing what it's going to bring. See ya!
And what are we doing? Going waiting to the bathroom. bathroom. We're going to the bathroom. Where are we at? In this Versailles. 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 So we're going to the bathroom in Versailles. It's gonna be cool. And then we're gonna see the rest of the building. What are you guys thinking about Versailles? Um, I don't think there are words to describe it. Yeah? It's extravagant, but that's like not even enough. Mm -hmm. It's like such an insult to what it actually is, I feel like. Yeah, the architecture is just breathtaking and immaculate. You know, I, I don't think anything like this could ever be recreated. I mean, the people that created this stuff, I mean, are genius, beyond brilliance. Uh, it's very extra. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. totally speaks to <laughs> Louis being in control. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. nice stuff, though. Magnificent the purpose. Yeah. So, in other words, like when you redo your bedroom, you're going to like go for this vibe, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. And we're in the Hall of Views right now, so. This is, this is so cool.
Yeah, so Christian, where are we are where are we again? Huh? Where are we again? Arc de Triomphe. Arc de Triomphe. Okay. And what is that? Which is at one end of the yeah. Okay, so this would basically be one end. Yeah, you'd mentioned commerce, um, but yeah, this is celebration for uh, well, French Revolution, really, because I believe that's when the thing was first built. Yeah, and it started out with Fleur de Lis, then uh, uh, okay. Napoleon took over, and now it has Napoleon on it. Okay, super. And we're kind of chilling here, um, enjoying some Pringles. We love our Pringles, and yeah, this is uh, Buffalo Ranch, and I've not found this in the U.S. and. Honey mustard. Honey mustard. Honey mustard is our favorite. Honey mustard is favorite? Okay. Solid. <laughs> Alright, well, we're continuing our third day here in Paris. Okay, why are you there again?
Rachel, do you want to say how you're feeling? We're at the National Opera House. Yeah. I'm very thankful. I can't believe that I'm standing on the steps of the Paris Opera House. Yeah. <laughs> and did a pure what? Everything I've ever, everything I've ever wanted. I am so happy for you. Do you want to do one more pirouette for the camera? Yeah. Can I get it? That was beautiful. You want to do it? There we go. We learned to validate tickets in Germany. burning down the building, he told them he would not let that happen. He said this building uh, represents our history, it represents who we are as Germans, as Berliners, as Prussians. Uh, this is an important part of our history. I'm not going to let some random kids that have been in this government for five years uh, to destroy hundreds of years of the Jewish hovel in the northwest of the city. Uh, wanders through the city center right here. It divides up. Five minutes if you want to just wander around and do it. 
Okay, so it's our first day in Germany. We just finished some amazing time and experiences in France. How are we all feeling? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. What thoughts do you have? Yeah, we did. We had the best tour. Shout out to our tour guide. He was phenomenal. He was great. Doris. No. Doris. 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 Yeah. So we're in, I think it's Gotzenhuisen, I can't really pronounce it. Gotzenhuisen? Yeah. And <laughs> it's a lovely town. Very we cute. We are preparing to go into one of the old concentration camps, so... Yes, one of the first, it's where they held the communist prisoners. Yeah. So. And, <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that if you climb this wall, you had to run across that and climb another wall. Right. Oh, my Jesus. Wait, so what are you saying about The fact that, that, that you went so like this, you went like that. Okay, so we are on our own tonight. We're trying to find food as our adults in Germany vote. We've already been told by one restaurant that we can't be there without reservations, and the other one is closed due to an event, so I think we may have found one. Let's hope we get food. Okay, we did in fact find our dinner, finally. How was dinner? And that's the Aldi's that I did never get to go to in Germany. Goodbye. At the train station to go to Wittenberg and how are you guys feeling about our trip? Good? You're what? I'm pumped. I'm so excited. All I've heard him talk about for the past two years is the Protestant Reformation. And yeah. So now I finally get to say it. I know. Yeah. yeah. With a w. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christian, are you excited to go to Wittenberg? Hmm? Are you excited to go to Wittenberg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to be a good day. Okay, so there are so many reasons to absolutely love Germany. This is one of them. A entire statue dedicated to advertising for chocolate. Like, Germany, you know what you're doing.
Martini had no right. He didn't need to go that hard. <laughs> the opera is finished. Tragic. And it was beautifully done. Oh, it was gorgeous. Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. That was just wonderful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I want that to be me. I just want that to be me. Our final night. <laughs> yes. Oh. We really did really did it. Yay. It's day two in Italy. We are about to go visit the Vatican. And we had to go and buy scarves <clears throat> and stuff because rigid rules. But are you guys excited? How do you feel? Super excited. We had a bar inside. Yeah. Because our knees. Maybe I'll come because knees. <laughs> yeah. Shoulders. Ah. Yeah. And how has Italy been so far for you guys? Amazing. 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 It's my favorite so far. Yeah. Okay. Like I had steak last night and I wanted to cry, it was so good. Yeah. Alright, well, we're ready for day two. Nice. Kind of chilling and shopping in room today. Sophia and I are here geeking out over the gelato and look at that gelato like gelato toast.
shorten the line at other places.
So we have theological discussions and philosophical discussions, and then we have cannoli. Okay, Ultimate Lender Chocolate Store. So if you're a chocolate alcoholic, like, this is heaven. from this trip? As far as takeaways, I would say I've learned so much about culture, art, and history. Pretty much everything that we learned in Professor Merriweather's class is replicated here, but ten so it's, it's really coming to life, that history. It's like you're living in the moment of when this art came to life. I feel oh like I have a better understanding, like a better narrative, a timeline oh narrative of like just modern history, like a whole timeline, you know, from like the Renaissance era to now. Um, and it was really helpful to be able to see like the transitions in art and like the transition in the architecture and everything, and how all three like different countries um, kind of connect together to form one narrative. Yeah. The best thing that I've learned on this trip is understanding how to have an appreciation for art. You know, because we learned a lot about how all of this. Because we learned about all of this stuff in class, and it gave me a better appreciation for art. And so, if one big takeaway I have from this is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to United Flight 3545, non stop service to Columbus. My name is Al, I'll be assisting you this flight. We're still waiting for passengers to uh, the plane. As soon as that is done, the aircraft was clean already and we'll be ready for boarding. Thanks for your patience. It's okay, just keep... No, keep going, keep going. I'm just going to cut it out. It's okay. Anyways, but my one big take takeaway from this entire experience is that learning about about things before you go to sleep and you better appreciate it. And as you get a better appreciation for experiences, <laughs> okay, okay. One thing I learned on this trip was that I comprehended a lot more material in class than what I thought. Super. <laughs> and what's one thing you learned on this trip? Um, one thing I learned on this trip was. Subways are harder than it looks. Can we? Customer Gavidia. Subways are harder. Flight 3711. Oh, I learned so much. We're also going to bring more military personnel. Making the connection. Global so services. That I saw. Was Families with children under two years of age. I have learned about a lot of that stuff in class, but to be able to see it in person, make those like, connections, was really, really great. It was just. Yes. I mean, we saw some of like the seven wonders of the world. We saw the Colosseum. We walked through ancient ruins in Rome. And what you know, uh, uh, concentration camp in Berlin, which is a harrowing experience, but it was also so important. Very it really much. changes your perspective on all countries and learning about different cultures and getting outside of just, you know, your American lens and being able to see more of the world and get a bigger perspective. Europe is, uh, well, Europe. Unfortunately, we're all very tired, so I think it's very hard to form coherent thoughts. I get that. <laughs> Mike, any takeaways? Oh, yeah. 
I, I definitely have an appreciation for international travel here, and I think it's something that everybody needs to do uh, at least once in their life, but it really gave me an appreciation for actually where I live in the United States now, because I, I yeah. just love the rights that we have every day. I just have a much better appreciation for the United States. Absolutely. Free water, the fact that we have free water again. Yeah, we were all celebrating. When it comes to traveling, learn as much basic phrases of their languages as possible because it makes it, one, more easier to communicate with them, but also it's more respectful that way. Two, get used to walking a lot and make sure you have a good sense of direction and, you know, that you can just keep up with the group and that you're, you're in that, that mindset to go, 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 go. Oh, I would say absolutely 100% do it. Like, there, you're not going to get a better opportunity as far as funding and like organization um, because just seeing the amount of things that we saw all at once, um, that's really like not possible or very, very difficult if you're planning it yourself. I agree with that. That's very good advice. Super. Okay. Okay, and um, how. Take advantage of it while you're in school because you're not going to be able to have these opportunities Absolutely. after college Absolutely. for this cheap. Kaylin? I would actually say the exact same because there's no way I would be able to go on this trip with my own money. I got $20. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Definitely don't stay up too late. Your first few nights there just because you're excited. You're going to want to get sleep because the amount of stuff you do in those the short amount of time that you're there is just insane. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get enough sleep, then it doesn't matter like how um, how interesting the thing is. If you're too tired, it's not going to matter. But uh, definitely take care of yourself. Keep healthy, drink water, get, get as much sleep as you possibly can, take care of your feet. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, um, thanks for your patience. We're ready to start with the wave, like 8.5 like for the longest. Like Passengers with disabilities are welcome to pre-board this time. I don't know. Uh, expect plenty of difficulty, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Large group, you know, groups are particularly going to be difficult to deal with. Yeah, it's not a walk in the park. Travel is definitely hard, but it's definitely worth it. The, it's, the with you. it's absolutely worth the experience, and, and we do appreciate everything that the Hodgkin Fund has provided for us. Yeah. Honestly, I would say because I've learned so much about like culture and just being immersed in different environments and people, uh, I feel like that makes me a better uh, people person. I would argue I've learned a little bit of, like about like different languages too and different dialects, so like I, I think that I've learned how to communicate a lot better just in the past couple days I've been here and just learning like I said about culture and like what it's like you know on the other side of the fence for someone else or the other side of the world for that matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah super okay anything else you want to say? Definitely worth the trip it, it's definitely worth your time it's it's such a good opportunity You'll, you might not ever get an opportunity like this ever again in your life so definitely take the, the chance to get the education to get the experience and stuff like that. Um, I feel like with teaching it gives me a better understanding of like the development of literature and so I can like transfer that into my classroom and help students form their own like timeline um, so that they can like specifically see the characteristics and how they change with you know philosophical thought, theology and everything throughout that. I think that it, this has helped me to move forward with my studies because I think that now, since I have a better appreciation of art and understanding, intellectualizing art, I can now um, enjoy studying even more. So I think that it would just push me to become even better. Absolutely. I guess I would say, like, so I'm in sports management, so I would love to work for international students. And now that I know how to work the bus systems and everything, I feel like if I do work for, like, a Germany team, I would be prepared for all the traveling needs and all that. But, so. This helps me be able to adapt to different personalities. So I think that 
learning how to travel with a ton of different people who you may not be friends with outside of class is like really important for the work field. I think that will help me in the future. It's definitely a thing. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that we all learn is just like... Okay, well super! How do you think that the experiences you've had will carry forward into your future? I definitely think that this is stuff like I'll be able to use in my performing arts career. I'm a musical theater major, so this kind of stuff was so important. I took a ballet class in Paris, and that is something that like I could cry. We're going to you about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really unforgettable. It's so important to me and to be able to make connections with artists in other countries and to learn how the artist industry works outside of America because mm. it means that when I do, you know, if I do have opportunities to perform in other countries, I'll kind of already know what that's going to be like, what that's going to look like. I saw um, Tosca, it's a Puccini opera in Berlin, and on the cast list were people that my music teacher had seen at the Metropolitan Opera the last time he was there. So these people travel the world, and being able to see, like, okay, it's outside of America, I can go anywhere, I can perform anywhere, it kind of gives me more hope and helps me understand that you know, there are so many opportunities in my industry. A lot of people say there aren't, but there are. <laughs> there are, there are. Fantastic. Boy, <laughs> group two on the green lane, please. Group two. I'm considering that it's already started me up on writing some philosophy notes. Uh, I suppose it looks like I will probably be picking the route that almost everyone who ends up visiting Europe ends up on. <laughs> and what route is that? Four? Usually they start actually forming more coherent thoughts. I'm gonna go Sounds with, good. It's, uh, it's given me a better appreciation for the arts, definitely. Like, I, I yeah. definitely kind of took the arts for granted, but seeing all the incredible art has been amazing. Um, but the architecture was something incredible. Architecture. So, Europe was a great experience, and I, I hey guys, loved it. Alright, let's do it. Some experiences are life-changing, others are life-forming. Even when parts of that initial experience fade or get rubbed away, the core of what was created often remains, growing slowly from the center of what was first made. I am so thankful for the things formed during our 12 days in Europe. Confidence was formed, confidence in our abilities to travel internationally, navigate new countries and cities and transportation systems, and order food off of a menu that none of us <laughs> could read. Respect was formed. Respect for the countries visited, the amazing people met, and the incredible history, architecture, and culture of the portion of Western civilization that we were immersed in. And appreciation was formed. Absolutely for the places visited, but also for the places we left behind during our trip. It can be hard to appreciate what you've got until you've taken a step back to see all that you really have. And the time we spent in Europe was more incredible than I could ever have imagined. While I certainly hope to return one day, the increased appreciation for the worth and beauty found in home is one of the things that I am deeply grateful for. A globe makes the earth look so small. And as a kid, I kind of believed that. But the more I travel, the more I realize that it's the people who are small in a huge and incredible world. And that is really cool. Wherever we are and wherever we go, whether traveling through amazing countries like France, Germany, or Italy, or sitting on a plane to someplace exciting and new, or simply living life in a quiet little holler, I hope we can all remember that there will always be additional experiences to have, new mistakes to make, fresh attempts to take, and absolutely more adventures to live. So let's keep traveling through this world below.